Good morning everyone. It's Saturday and I don't ever film on a Saturday but I thought you know what I'm going to today because it's a nice day. We've got a couple, well we haven't really got anything specifically planned but as it's a nice day I might make the effort to not fill my life full of washing and ironing for today and maybe leave it a bit more for tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's three minutes past eight. I've got my coffee, we've got a film on. I've got my two favourite little people. Hello. He's got them things what we eat. Yeah. Oh yeah, I hope you've had a good week. Violet had her first week at school. Didn't you, Vi? Is it school today? No, it's school on Monday. You've got two, two days off. But Violet was basically... She's had three hours a day at school and has absolutely loved it. Next week she goes 8.35 till 10 past 1. <coughs> anyway, I'm going to crack on with this washing and putting stuff away. My ironing pile. I've got swimming lessons at half past nine, so I need to get swim stuff out and bags. I do actually really need to go through this um, cupboard again. It's just a little bit chaotic. But, yeah, swimming bags and stuff. I wonder if their goggles are in here. Oh, no, actually, Alistair still does swimming back at school again, so his goggles are in his other bag. Okay, they are done for swimming lessons and then please put clothes away I need to do the dreadful chore sorting out rooms right one room down close out Got all the stuff underneath it's a bit of a mess um they just pull everything out there it's the thing with kids don't they never mind now I'm going to do Violet's room not too bad I'm drawing it's a nice day that. Right, kids' rooms are done. Now it's time to make my bed. 20 past 8. We do need to leave it about 9 just after 9 because obviously you need to get down to swimming, they need to get changed, weight, you know, that sort of thing. So, yeah, I need to get a crack on. And Alice just already had breakfast. I've had a coffee, and Violet hasn't eaten yet. So, yeah, that's the next thing. It's about 20 past eight, so we've got to leave just after nine, so we've got a bit of time. I kind of feel like I've never got enough, really enough time to like do pancakes. I used to always do pancakes Saturday, now I tend to do it on a Sunday, pancake Sunday. It doesn't really matter anyway, but yeah, with this like swimming rush in the mornings, I really wish I could change it to a little bit later, but there's just no space. Um, so yeah, never mind. They're always happy anyway to go early in the morning. So, yeah, I'm gonna, I might have to put another load of washing on as well and get mine and Violet some breakfast. You can guess which bit I'm probably most likely gonna have. Haha, <laughs> so annoying. You're doing us awesome toast. Okay, we are heading swimming. Um, it's ten past nine, they start at half past nine, so I kind of need to get a move on really. But, um, yeah, <laughs> we're in a bit of a rush, but it's only because the kids didn't feel that motivated this morning, which is always frustrating, but it is early for a Saturday anyway, but, yeah, swimming time, children. Okay, we finished at swimming. Kids were awesome. Were you good at swimming? I was. You were really good. Alistair was in the really, really deep end, weren't you, at the end? Yeah. You were doing Mine some was, awesome swimming. I was all the way to the end. Mm -hmm. And you did some really good independent It was so swimming. deep. I nearly drowned. I don't think you nearly drowned. No, I didn't. No, you can swim. But Viola, you were really good, weren't you? With your float. Swimming with your floats. can't swim out of my floats yet. You were really good. But, um, yeah, so it's 20 past 10. We're going to head, because it's a really nice day. Uh, the weather looks really good. We might head to the beach. Just depends how these two behave. Okay, they go do. down here. We parked up the hill because um, it's cheaper. So if you can't find a parking space, try and get on the hill because it's two pound fifty for like up to three hours or up to four oh, up to three hours um, compared to like four pound something. So yeah, and we get the views. We're at Boskim. Come here because we haven't been here in ages actually over the summer and we haven't even been to Boscombe I mean Urban Reach for some yummy pancakes so I think we're going to do that um, since it's a really
really nice day actually it's just like kind of like perfect weather like I don't, you, like kind of the weather that you don't really need coats so I've got their jumpers just in case but um, yeah this is the car park we usually park in over here but it's more expensive you've got a stitch <laughs> Right, yes. children, what are we going to do first? Are we going to do pancakes first or pancakes after? Because we've only got after. a certain... Okay, but we've only got a certain amount of time before they stop doing the breakfast and then they'll be on to lunches. So they won't do after. pancakes anymore. After. So... Look at that. It looks so calm today. Ooh, lovely. Okay, look at the drying flip-flop. It's like a shower. It's Javiana. <laughs> giant flip-flop shower. <laughs> well, it was like, this is a giant flip-flop. I was like, where? And then I realised. I was the first one to find that giant flip-flop. Okay. We can make muscle. Muscle shower. That's right. Wow. They are big waves. Oh, just got to say, don't stay too close to them. Life got out. Right, we've moved along because we were told to go into these red and yellow flags because it's been a, a little bit of a danger zone over there. The resort is down to pants now. and the kids were just so impatient to wait for food because they're quite slow, so busy. So yeah, we've got some, just some chippies for us to share once they come down. We just sat on the pier. And some chippies! Yeah, it's lovely here anyway, isn't it? Yep, just chippies. Yeah, well, remember, we, you just, some things just happen. It's just the way it's going to be, okay? Ew, we don't like more to picture. I know, we don't have to have that. There you go. They're warming you up. Mm -hmm. I think I've got drink far too many trips. How did you get my drink bottle? Mm -hmm. Put it with me. Oh, I do. Heading back to the car. I can see it. Yeah? I see it. I think we've had long enough. So it's getting a little bit chilly actually. I don't know if it's going to rain. It kind of looks a bit grey. Whoa. They're actually smaller than I thought they were in the picture. Or oh, they're obviously alive. Ooh. Look at these children. What? My lobsters. <laughs> wow. <laughs> He's a beauty. Run away, run away. Wow. He's gonna pinch you. His claws are here. Okay. What colour does it turn, like Alistair, when it's cooked? Red. Red? Yeah. Pink. What is I'm very impressed. I've got to sort out washing and stuff. I've got to put their swim stuff in the washing machine. And oh, that sea air has really made me sleepy. I think I need to change my contact lenses as well. They're feeling a little bit dry. Oh, it feels so chilly now. Oh, still blue sky, it's just a little bit grey. Someone was using a metal detector on one of our fields and Graham basically caught him. And, um, well, not caught him, but just said, you know, 
this is our field, you shouldn't really be doing that sort of thing. And then, yeah, that was a couple of weeks ago now, and then he, that man has brought up, he knows someone, one of the neighbours around the road, he knows someone, so he gave us lobsters, random. That's really nice of him though, fresh lobster, mm. Um, Graham's actually just gone back to work. It's just after two, about ten past two. The kids are going actually to my mother-in-law's about three-ish. So, um, Alice just, just gone out to play and Violet is having a whale of a time in the office because, um, one of our shelves, it's kind of, this like a floating shelf and it started like, leaning downwards. I think there was too much weight on it. So Graham's been like pottering about doing that. And I've been going through like invoices and stuff, filing things. And, um... Yeah, Violet's having a way of time with sticky tape and hole punching, just random bits of paper, so she's happy. Anyway, I've got some stuff on my laptop to do and the kids are just really happy. I'm going to make a cup of tea in a bit, um, warm myself up because I just feel chilly. And I'm so annoyed. I always go on about my nail polish chipping, but God, this is so depressing. I only literally painted these last night. Look, the, the rest look okay. Like, I love the colour. These are Maybelline orange punch um, but that one is depressing right I've got some stuff done I need so to sort dad. out the kids bags for Nana's so can you hear my tumble dryer I think we've got to get a new one can't leave it alone while it's spinning like that because it just worries me that might like burn burn out or something I don't know but it's like screeching I'm gonna get these kids off to mother-in-law's Graham's picking up eggs doing the last bits of work and I think we're gonna have a cheeky Indian takeaway tonight. One of my favourites. Or oh, Graham's favourite actually. And then he made me love it even more. So But yeah, get these kids. Go on to Nana's because that's what they love to do. It's gone all grey again. No! Oh He's gonna keep that so tight. Right, can you stop arguing? Alistair, can you go get some trousers on please? Violet, can you get some socks on please? Mommy. You're going to Nana's. You got lots. You got one, two, three. Come here. Mummy. This one. 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 These things were on the shelf. There. <laughs> ah, chaos. Um, yeah, bag's done. Right, come get shoes and coats on, please, children got my fluffy fluffy socks on which are annoying because I can't actually get anything on with them like any shoes so I have to take them off which is um annoying <laughs> I don't want to take them off they're so warm have okay, you got enough soft toys there yeah are they big enough yeah they're big enough to put in my bed oh what have you got on your bed what's your duvet cover and we need a poo we need a poo oh right I've just dropped the sprogglies off um only 10 past three I, re I realized I got that dead on time and I was like oh yeah I'm not keen or anything <laughs> just <laughs> anyway yeah the kids are happy to go anyway they love it see their nana they don't really see her during the week so it's nice it's, it's a little treat you know for them to just have that time with her and she does so much with them like she's just so thrifty and hands-on and so creative she they always come back with stuff I call it tan, you know, like a load of like handmade stuff and I don't know, they know how to knit and everything, well with their fingers, um, so yeah they have fun there. I'm just going to go see Graham quickly, he's just at the chicken sheds picking up eggs, so I'm going to quickly see him and then I think he's got to go milking, so um, yeah that's usually done this afternoon. Looks like it's going to pour down, I'm so pleased I didn't put the washing out. I don't think it's going to dry either because it's kind of a weird cold weather but no wind. It was really windy though at the sea. So, yeah, I'm feeling really hungry. I've had such a bad day of food. I mean, I'm, I'm really, I always let myself go over the weekend anyway. Um, just enjoy, you know, just out of routine and different foods and stuff like that. Oh, I just told no. Um, but today I've had a cup of coffee water i've had quite a lot of water i drink quite a lot but a cup of coffee water and a slice of toast for breakfast and then i had a cup of tea and some chips with the children for lunch and that's pretty much all i've had all day so carbs and caffeine not that great 
um, and not a lot of food either. Like sometimes I can be really quite rubbish, like bingy on the weekends, but generally just my intake is just not enough compared to like the week and I feel like I'm lagging, I'm just, I'm tired, really lethargic and I think it's because I just haven't had any proper food in me, any fruit or veggies or anything. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go home in a minute and eat some fruits or something. I need some energy, natural sugars. I'm gonna quickly pop in and see Grey. So that was inside that. And that yolk. Blimey, that is massive. And this is an average size egg. Ouchie. That poor chicken. That's so little. Oh, we were short of six in there yesterday. Ooh. Hello, girls. Not waking, waking. How many is there? 13 in there? Yeah. Look at them eating. Nom, nom, nom. So cute. There's two. Oh, the other Oh, they are so much tinier. Oh, they're horrible. There's two. Where's the others? Oh, one little black and white one. kids in Nana's garden because they're only across the field. I'm just going to let dogs out for a walk and um, check on Wiggy, see how she's getting on. <laughs> hey Wiggy! You alright? Oh, look at her. Yeah, best get you sleeping now because when you've got your babies. <laughs> Who's got a collar? Who's a good boy? Chew. Who's got a collar? We had to put a collar on him. For although our dogs are chipped, like the other two boys don't usually wear collars, and our dogs generally are farm dogs, so they don't bother with collars and stuff and leads because they're just free range. However, because Chewy's I got him out of his own sometimes, and I have freaked out quite a few times about him getting lost and wandering off. Um, Although he's chipped, it's handy to have his name and Graham's number on his collar, so yeah, puts my mind at rest anyway. Doing a little bit of tidying up, I'm leaving pretty much most of Alistair's Lego out, he just likes playing with it after school and in the mornings and stuff. Violet's been obsessed, although I hate finding it everywhere, Violet's been obsessed with puzzles recently, she's been doing these after school, just this little quiet time. Um, she actually got this, I think she got this for her birthday last year, Didn't, wasn't really into it. But now she loves them all and they kind of have like stick out pieces, this one does. And they do a Little Miss and a Mr. Men one as well. Um, but yeah, she's been doing lots of puzzles recently. I need to sort out this chaos. I think I might do that now. I try not to do it with the kids around because they just don't like me do anything. I want to keep that, I want to keep that. Right, just sorting through it. It does make me laugh though when they say, we haven't got any paper. And all this. Right. Some of it, of course, is a little bit drawn on, but then they've got like pads that were just hidden in between books. And you've got some like workbooks here. Mary Poppins is on. I think I'll probably change it though, to be honest, because we're watching far too much. I've got washing to fold, made a cup of tea. I've just had two um, easy peelers, like some quite large ones, and I'm gonna have some of these mini gingerbread men. I love these, these are so tasty, really gingery. Um, yeah, and a nice cup of tea. I'm waiting for Graham to get back with um, Indian takeaway. I, um, I've i basically been sat here for quite a long time, um, just chilling. We were watching Ninja Warrior, watched a bit of old X Factor from last week, just chilling out. Graham poured me a glass of wine. I asked him for um, a nice glass of rosé. Um, and I opened a bottle last night, just had one glass. And he's gone and opened a totally different bottle and not even the wine that I like it's a it's a wine that someone else brought um, and gave us so yeah I, I was a bit like no it's not the wine that I wanted I wanted the my sweet my sweet rosé wine so I've got this one which I think it's I don't actually know what which one it is but I could tell straight away because it's kind of a peachy colour and the one that I have is quite a blush pink um, so yeah, I feel like I have to drink it now, otherwise it's really wasteful. But, yeah, I'm actually watching Toy Story 3. 
point because I'm a weirdo, like I've got the kids with me. But honestly, there is nothing on. I think the thing that we're going to watch tonight, though, is we've only got one more of um, the new series that we've been watching, The Night Of. Really good. There's only eight episodes, but each episode is like an hour long, so it's it's quite good. We watched about three. No, we watched two last night, and we we, we were going to watch the last one because it kind of would have made sense, but we were just too tired. It got to like 11 o'clock, and we were like, no, watch it tomorrow. So I think we're going to do that, and then I think we're going to watch The Intern because that's one new film that's on Sky. Okay, I can't drink that. I just have one sip, and I was like... Mm -mm kind of tastes like white wine I don't really drink white wine um it's quite bitter this is bitter Oof. this is the one it was yeah this rosé who's that by fair trade oh it's a co-op fair trade yeah not good okay that would never have gone down so sadly I'm gonna have to go for my favourite <laughs> My favourite. Very, very sweet this one. And I usually get it on offer from Costco. Um, for a pack of, box of six, it's usually about £23. So, yeah. Last me ages as well, because Graham obviously doesn't drink. Mm. Oh my God, it's so different. <laughs> Amazing, so much sweeter. Oh, I can hear Graham. You got the curry? Huh? Got the curry? Curry chocolate, right? Mmm. Yum, yum, yum. Um, I swapped the wine over. I, I had one sip. Honestly, I would never have been able to drink it. It's horrible. Co-op zone. <laughs> horrible. Chicken Rogan.